Uh, good evening, everyone. I'd like to call the meeting to order. <clears throat> Secretary, will you lead us in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ah, thank you. Would you call the roll, please? Ruth Griffey? Here. Douglas Knight? Here. David Locker? Here. Matthew Nelson. Here. David Ronecker. Here. Richard Sterner. Corey Trussell. Here. Michael Wool. Here. Jennifer Zerfing. Here. Our solicitor. Here. All right. I'm going to go through John Fox. Here. Shane Hotchkiss. Here. Justin Peart. Here. All right, I'd like to uh, welcome all of our guests viewing on the live stream this evening. Okay, thank you. Um, <clears throat> so hearing of schedule, scheduled delegations or individuals, none. Uh, public comment, at this time, um, we'll take any questions from anybody that may be watching online. There will be a, a 60 second pause due to the uh, time delay between our meeting in Zoom and the um, meeting being streamed via YouTube uh, for questions to be asked via the email address off of the website. So as of right now, there are no questions out there, but I will follow up in a couple minutes. I'm still showing no comments uh, on either location. Okay, uh, moving on to our consent agenda. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. Any further discussion? This will be a I roll just, call vote. Oh. I, I want to thank the person who is donating a drum set. I think that's amazing. And so thank you, Mr. Hirsch. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is a roll call vote. All those members in attendance will be recorded as voting in favor of the motion, unless I hear a mayor of state. Motion carries. Moving on to bill payable general fund bill A. <coughs> Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second, any further discussion? This is a roll call vote. All those members in attendance will be recorded as voting in favor of the motion, unless I hear a nay or abstain. Motion carries. General fund part B. Make the motion. Second. I have a motion and second, any further discussion? <laughs> okay, please call the roll. Ruth Griffey? Yes. Douglas Knight, abstain. David Lockard? 
Yes. Matthew Nelson? Yes. David Reinecker? Yes. Corey Trossel? Yes. Michael Wool? Yes. Jennifer Zerfing? Yes. Seven yes, one abstain. Okay, motion carries. General Fund Part C. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? This is a roll call vote. Please call the roll. Ruth Griffey? Yes. Douglas Knight? Yes. David Lockard? Yes. Matthew Nelson? Yes. David Reinecker? Yes. Corey Trussell? Yes. Michael Wool? Abstain. Jennifer Zerfing? Yes. Seven yes, one abstain. Motion carries. Cafeteria fund. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? This is a roll call vote. All those members in attendance will be recorded as voting in favor of the motion, and I, unless I hear a nay or abstain. Motion carries. Capital Reserve Fund. Motion to approve. Second. second. I have a motion and second. Any further discussion? This is a roll call vote. All those members in attendance will be recorded as voting in favor of the motion, unless I hear a nay or abstain. Motion carries. Construction Fund. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. Any further discussion? This is a roll call vote. All those members in attendance will be recorded as voting in favor of the motion, unless I hear a nay or abstain. Motion carries. Correspondence, we have none. Reports and related action, superintendent report. Yes, hi, good evening, everyone. I'd just like to take a moment and uh, personally thank everyone um, from our teachers to support staff, to our administrative team, to our board, to our solicitor for your collaboration over the past month. Um, certainly we've all been presented with a challenge that none of us have ever faced. And um, I'm, I'm extremely proud of the effort of all of you and all of our teachers and, you know, and in turn proud of our students for being resilient and putting forth the effort that they're putting, putting forward you know, on behalf of kids and families. And I just wanted to extend you know, a, a heartfelt thank you for all of your efforts. All right, thank you. Assistant Superintendent Report. I have nothing further to add. Okay, and I believe we have a presentation on our flexible instruction day resources. Yes, thank you. I wanted just to provide an update on our on our um, flexible instruction day or our, our FID update. Um, FID is our, the model that we um, were previously approved by the Pennsylvania Department of Education and utilized one of our days on February 14th. And this is um, our continuity of learning plan. And it begins with our first phase, which was our preparation phase. This involved data collection and our teachers did an excellent job of reaching out to all of their homeroom uh, students checking, connecting with them, um, gathering and collecting valuable data on access um, to devices, as well as access to um, stable uh, Wi-Fi and internet. We then began to uh, review this data and our principals led uh, faculty and grade level meetings. And we began uh, the process uh, for those at the elementary school uh, needing to borrow a device. We began with our um, iPad um, deployment on March 29th. Um, of deploying iPads to, to those um, who needed to borrow a device. Um, our media specialists, Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Nace, as well as our innovation specialist and uh, coordinator of innovation and infrastructure, Mrs. Dunkerley, have done an excellent job of really building out um, three very robust uh, websites that act as our single point of reference um, and our single launching um, launch sites for um, information pertaining to technical support, information pertaining to resources, 
uh, for parents, for counselors, um, for access to counselors, and just really a nice um, single point um, of information that's available at www.permedian.org. Um, and the pop-up will um, read um, COVID-19 information. And when you click on that, you'll be able to access that as well as our continuity of education plan. We also began to implement our um, FID hours for teachers. So at the elementary school, um, the FID model is primarily um, based on the, um, the utilization of our website. And that website has grade level, um, <laughs> grade levels um, across the top of the website. And if you click on that, it will provide direct instruction um, lessons and activities, as well as extension activities that provide students with the opportunity of voice and choice um, to practice and refine um, the skills that they learn from the direct instruction. Um, for those needing um, print copies, um, print copies are available each week, and, and Mr. Nace and Mrs. Ely print those off and place those in these um, Gettysburg Times newspaper racks. And Dr. Hoshkis was able to work out uh, with the Gettysburg Times to borrow some of these newspaper racks, and they're available by the uh, little free library at the elementary school where parents can drive by and pick up um, one of these um, print copies at their convenience. At the elementary school, we're also providing optional um, synchronous activities for students. And um, this is um, Ely and Mr. Nace have sent a feedback survey out um, to gather information and uh, to reflect on that share and make any needed modifications. At our middle school, um, again, looking at it, um, primarily the use of a single sign-on, which is our um, learning management system canvas, where teachers are building and utilizing and um, building out content. Um, from there, um, using a print box at the middle school in the front for, um, for students to have the opportunity, um, students and parents to have the opportunity to pick up if they, if they need a copy of it, and uh, to provide um, assignments uh, for teachers, uh, I, I'm sorry, to prov uh, an assignment sheet is posted each week as well for um, selected grade levels for parents um, to assist their students. So it kind of lists certain uh, high level topics and the average um, that a student should be working on per class um, per day is roughly 20 to 30 minutes was our kind of um, um, anticipated uh, workload. At the high school, again, uh, Canvas being our, our single sign-on platform um, for our learning management system, it provides us a lot of consistency uh, for students. And uh, the website a resource for parents and students is available as well um, that they can go on and have access uh, to their counselor. Again, roughly 20 to 30 minutes per class per day. Um, that is the exception to that, um, of course, will be our college and the high school classes. Those college and the high school classes follow um, what uh, Harrisburg Area Community College and, um, is currently doing. Um, we encourage, again, communication from our, from our teachers to our students and our students to our teachers and print copies um, by Mr. Fleming and um, by Mr. Defoe um, are printed and um, sent to their homes um, via U.S. mail with the return envelopes um, that the students will return that um, completed work. Um, focus areas for this particular phase, again, we want to exercise maximum flexibility. Um, this is new and uh, we continue to be flexible. Um, considering um, the needs of all families um, when we are um, working and, and building out this um, extended, um, our, our FID model for an extended period of time, we want to continue to communicate with families. Um, especially for, for those who are um, not only not engaged, but those who are highly engaged and continue to offer that feedback. Um, feedback is going to be our and has been and will continue to be our primary assessment. Um, we want to continue to support our teachers um, through professional learning experiences, and we want to continue to uh, support students in any way that we can. Um, we want to um, transition and focus on activities and experiences rather than um, a standard PDF form or a uh, document that a student completes. We want to continue to support our students with disabilities, those with IEPs in, um, under Section 504. And we extended our third marking period to April 10th, um, allowing students the opportunity to turn in assignments that were due prior to March 13th. Our phase two um, implementation is where we are currently at. Um, again, 
um, really um, emphasizing the, the, the feedback um, to the students who are excelling and to the students that uh, are not engaged um, and haven't been um, and have not been participating um, in any of the activities or experiences. Um, we want to continue uh, with connection activities, um, being as creative as we can uh, at the middle school um, in high school and elementary school. They've all done spirit days middle school and elementary school right now are doing social and emotional uh, learning spirit day this um, week coming up um, so again we want to try to uh, focus on how can we connect uh, students with each other and uh, um, we want to focus on uh, student engaging with the content providing those experiences and activities and providing as much uh, choice as we can in there um, and again the, the key to anything is uh, reflecting um, as a team discussing and making adjustments as, as we certainly will need to. And phase three is uh, celebrating our, our return to school, um, identifying ways to determine um, if there's any learning gaps with our students and um, making those adjustments uh, to the curriculum as, as, as needed. And um, just to conclude really quick, um, I believe I, I need to apologize. I, I may have said Mr. Nace, um, as media specialist and as Mrs. Nace. Mr. Nace is our, um, one of our school counselors at the high school, so I apologize for that. Um, but as we conclude, um, the leadership that has been shown by, by our principals, um, the leadership by our teachers, the cabinet, our media specialists, um, innovation specialist and coordinator of innovation and infrastructure, Mrs. Duncan, really have just been amazing. Um, and we continue um, to meet on a regular basis and make those needed adjustments um, to meet the needs of, of our students and supporting our families. Okay. Um, feedback for the fourth marking period um, is going to be our primary, as, primary assessment. At this point, um, we are not um, assigning numerical grades. And this aligns primarily with uh, the school districts throughout Adams County and um, our post-secondary institutions um, that we were able to review. Um, several of them um, have elected um, have elected to go pass fail if a student um, selects that. And that includes um, MIT, Duke, Harvard, Vanderbilt are just a few of them. Um, and most importantly, um, we are constantly looking um, to provide creative solutions to, to complex problems. Um, that's part of our creativity, it's part of our portrait of a graduate. And uh, it, it's something as a team that we, that we highly value. And um, you know, we are much better together and um, you know we, we value those partnerships that we have and our, our current team approach. So thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, moving on to old business. We have none, new business. Um, item A, the 2020 graduating class. Motion to approve A. Second. I have a motion and second. Any further discussion? This is a roll call vote. All those members in attendance will be recorded as voting in favor of the motion, unless I hear a nay or abstain. Motion carries. Authorization to approve testing and inspection agreement. Make the motion. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? This is a roll call vote. All those members in attendance will be recorded as voting in favor of the motion, unless I hear a nay or abstain. Motion carries. I didn't see IRS reimbursement resolution. Make the motion. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? This is a roll call vote. All those members in attendance will be recorded as voting in favor of the motion, unless I hear a nay or abstain. Motion carries. Item D, CTE supplemental equipment grant. Move to approve. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? This is a roll call vote. All those members in attendance will be recorded as voting in favor of the motion unless I hear a nay or abstain. Motion carries. Item E, special education plan approval. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? This will be a voice vote. Please make sure you have your mics off mute. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 
Item F, change order guidance for the new middle school project. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? This is a roll call vote. All those members in attendance will be recorded as voting in favor of the motion unless I hear a nay or abstain. Motion carries. Item G, memorandum of understanding with transportation contracts. Make the motion. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? This is a roll call vote. All those members in attendance will be recorded as voting in favor of the motion unless I hear a nay or abstain. Motion carries. Is there any other business to brought, be brought before the board? Okay, I call the meeting adjourned. Thank you.